Good morning, friends. Dan here in the bright morning sunshine. Another episode of Learn a Bird. Out here in the background, let me zoom in a tad, is a great group of egrets. We have snowy egrets. We have great egrets. We even have a heron in there. And they're all gathered together on a, we call a salt pan on the tidal marsh. It's a little kind of big puddle. And when the tide's super high, out in the water, they will sometimes come up here in the marsh and feed. They have a group of small fish, probably a little fish called a mummy chog out there, all stuck together in a pool and they're just feeding like mad. It is migration season, it's post-breeding migration. It's a lot of southbound birds right now. And great egrets are just stunning. Gorgeous white bird, large white bird. Many people are familiar with the great blue heron, which is just kind of like a larger grayer version in some sense of our great egrets. But the egrets and the herons sometimes all migrate together. Right now, they're making a little kind of noises. They almost sound like, yeah, well, like they are dinosaurs. Uh, you know, sometimes hear them fly over. Or, or that's more like a crow. Sorry, I'm like, kind of like that. This bird is important for a lot of reasons. This bird actually is the reason why we started the bird conservation movement, uh, at least in the last few hundred years in this country, because, oh, there's there some flying right by. Their feathers were being used, just certain plumes, the little tiny plumes on the top of their head were being used on fancy hats back in the uh, late 1800s, early 1900s, to the point that they almost went extinct. It was a handful of conservationists, basically women, who saw these feathers and learned the story about what was happening, whereas hunters were going in and slaughtering entire uh, rookeries, which is a place where they breed communally. They were going and slaughtering all the birds in the rookery and just plucking these little feathers to be used in hats. And they decided, yeah, that's not smart. We're not going to do that anymore. So they started what was then one of the earliest um, Audubon societies in the United States, which was based on that. And that's why this bird has been the symbol for that group for this till this point in time. I hope you get a chance to get out and look for some birds. Let's zoom in again and look at these little herons out on that marsh, or I should say these big herons. You can see them all out there flying, moving together. It was about 25 or 30 already. I first got here a half hour ago, it was about 12. It's more than doubled. They're coming and going, because it is showtime, folks. These birds are getting on the move. So get out there, enjoy it. Good bird.